Paul Lewis, big seasons ahead for Richie Maanga and Damian McKenzie in battle for All Blacks No. 10 understudy. Paul Lewis, big seasons ahead for Richie Maanga and Damian McKenzie in battle for All Blacks No. 10 understudy Richie Maanga in action for the All Blacks. Prediction, by the end of the coming Super Rugby season, Richie Maunga will be winning the battle with Damian McKenzie to be Buden Barrett's understudy. The Quicksilver McKenzie is expected to start at first 5 eighths for the New Look Chiefs this year while Maunga did enough on the November All Black Tour to soften the blow of Limas Opoega's loss to European rugby. Much will depend on form and, more crucially, how the All Black selectors view the makeup of their bench. One reason why Maunga could leapfrog McKenzie, especially if Barrett is unavailable for any reason. McKenzie has few equals as a broken play runner. That will be attractive to selectors who have seen what Barrett's pace and ability in that area can do, as well as his effectiveness at taking on the defensive line. McKenzie will drop back to full back to field kicks when the All Blacks do not have the ball and the selectors greatly like his counter punching. However, McKenzie's first international foray as a 10 for New Zealand Maori against the Lions last year was a fail and he was a bit of a mixed bag on the end of year tour. So the little darter may not be a starter, consigned to bench duties because he can cover full back wing, first five and, at a pinch, halfback. It's in the last 20 minutes when his running can best put the scalpel to tiring defenses. As an impact player when the game has opened up, his attacking instincts can be given full license. His future is said to be at number 10 but, even before Sapoiga's journey to Wasps, it was difficult to see Mackenzie ahead of Barrett, Sapoga and now Maunga. The door seems set to close at fullback too. Ben Smith, Israel Dag and Jordy Barrett all return this year. Matt Duffy and David Havili are also challenging as winger slash fullback slash high ball merchants. McKenzie's work at fullback is unwaveringly brave but he is vulnerable under the high ball at this level and sometimes too easily shrugged off by power athletes when last line of defense. Both McKenzie and Maunga are ice cool, highly reliable goal kicker is important, as Barrett isn't always. Maunga outplayed Barrett when the All Blacks took on the Barbarians in the first match of the tour last year, turning many ahead. He is an effective ball carrier, better than most at taking the ball to the line and creating a hole with deft distribution. His kicking from hand is the best out of the three contenders for the 10 jersey certainly better than Barrett's. Both Maunga and McKenzie are only 22, early indications are that Maunga has that imperturbable temperament needed at the top. He doesn't appear to have a panic button whereas McKenzie though he could prove this eminently wrong this season was shaky against the Lions, his playmaking stifled. To be fair to him, so were most of his teammates that night. All black Damien McKenzie. Defensively, Mango has ground to make up. McKenzie is surprisingly effective at close quarters, where no. Tens are often called on to tackle. He isn't so effective when a big, fast winger, for example, takes him to the edge of his speed limit which is when he can be bumped off or falls off an attempted tackle. Again, to be fair to him, you can say that about many players at international level. But that lack of size is most noticeable when defending an extremist. McKenzie has the edge at kick fielding and returning. Maunga is nowhere as adept, even prone to dropping the odd ball or two last year. That, however, is what training grounds are for and is more easily fixed. 
the Chiefs could well provide options to solve another puzzle, the next all-black halfback. Canterbury and Crusaders know. 9. Mitchell Drummond maybe has the inside running after his debut tour last year when he did not look out of place in an all-black career spanning only 10 minutes, as a sub in the match against a France 15. He is Maunga's partner in Super Rugby and has the knack of scoring tries. However, the Chiefs will field former all-black Brad Weber. He got a sole 17 test minutes against Samoa in 2015, and triple T 22 year old T Toy Iro Atiriringi. The latter had a bit of a nightmare for the Hurricanes in the 31 all draw with the Lions last year, but his robust game, important as Toro Kerr Barlow has shown many times the value of a defensively strong halfback. Weber, like Aaron Smith, has a bullet pass perhaps most desirable to selectors who want to advantage their backs but is small. Lack of pass speed has helped keep the rugged Augustine Palu out of consideration and even current deputy TJ Peronaro attracted some quizzical looks last year. He is a dynamic runner but his passing often doesn't happen until he has taken a couple of steps making intercepts more likely. That's not a good look when the Lions have shown opposing coaches how the All Blacks can be handicapped by rush defense. <laughs>